Oh, boom, baby, we are live. Welcome back. We got a special episode today. <clears throat> a very special man, Mr. Troy Francis. How are you, Troy? Yeah, good stuff, man. Many thanks for having me on. Uh, Thank I you. am all good in the hood. All right, so here's the deal, guys. I'm here to talk about Troy's exclusive dating program called CAD Academy. Now, I have been working with Troy since 2019 and troy has actually been one of the most genuine people on rule zero to ever connect with me to help me out with things on a personal level on a business level gave me his books for free the renegade uh, renegade, <coughs> renegade dating blueprint we've been working in each other's webinars for the longest time all i can say is that i know without a shadow of a doubt Troy Francis is a good man, and he has good intentions for guys who sign up to his courses. He's a very deep, philosophical man. He's been doing this for a long time. He always talks about he's getting on a bit at 47, and he's still pulling girls in his 20s. So I'm here to guys to show you who this great man is. He's a great friend of mine. And uh, Troy, you want to just tell him a little bit about what Cat Academy is? I'll give you full screen. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for that great intro. I'll try and live up to it. So CAD Academy is the summation of the experience that I've had in the dating field. I've been in the dating industry as, a, as somebody who's a participant for literally about two decades now. And I've been teaching this stuff for the past seven years or so in various forms, from writing articles to making videos to doing Rule Zero to teaching guys on webinars to doing live trainings out and about uh, teaching guys actually how to go and approach and speak to different girls and things like this. And CAD Academy is a program that I put together at the beginning of last year, which we've updated somewhat since. But basically what it is, is all of the inner game and mindset tools that I use to transform my dating life from zero into very fruitful and then beyond. Okay. And what I always say is that people in this space get very hung up on external kinds of aspects of, of the game so they're very it's very much like oh so what is your opener so what did you say to her what did you follow up with what were your you know your tactics so to speak and all of that stuff is important without a doubt there's a lot that can be learned but the key thing is that without the right mindset and without the what the right way of promoting that mindset to the world you are not going to get the traction you could otherwise get and when we talk about inner game, it's a big subject. It's a complicated subject. But I see it basically breaking down into two parts. The first part is the way that you think about yourself. And the way that you think about yourself is all important. Because if you think you're a piece of crap, then you are not going to come across in a very convincing way to girls, to women, in dating and socially in general. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is, OK, how do you then put that out to the world? How do you showcase that? to the world. And that's all down to things like your your body language, obviously what you say, but your body language, what you wear, your posture, the way that you come across. And what I do in Cat Academy is it's a complete transformational program that takes guys from where their starting point, and obviously people have different starting points, but whatever your starting point is, say, okay, right, how can we drill down so that you can, first off, understand yourself and fall in love with yourself, for want of a better phrase, you know, you've got to think that you are God's gift. So we get that side of things sorted out. And then we show you, okay, right, how do you package that up? How do you take it out to the world? How do you showcase that to girls and, and women? And so we've got a big section in there as well, which actually is about more of the external game stuff also. So you've got an A to Z of like, right, this is how you do dating in 2021, going into 2022. But as I say, it's all important. You get those mindset tools, techniques, uh, concepts down first because otherwise you're just not going to get the traction you could otherwise get. Hmm. I think one thing that I've personally noticed with you lately is something that I have noticed. Mm. So that the most important, the most important thing when it comes to really having true success with women is inner game. Yeah. And I've, I've noticed you've been doing a lot of streams on that. And the thing is, it's not sexy. It's not, nobody wants mm. to talk about it. And I think that this is the real answer to what's going on. Because mm. 
the ability to get with a woman, have sex with her, and build a relationship is a natural human occurrence. Mm. And we're having trouble now on a global scale <clears throat> with this. Yes. I, I think that because people are pretty fundamentally broken more, more so than not, more so than not these days, uh, a completely mentally healthy person. It's pretty rare. You and I talk about it. Um, we had to conquer, excuse me. We had to conquer our demons. Yes. You went to therapy. I've gone to therapy and it's not like we're like sitting there like, Oh, I've have BPD or I have, uh, schizophrenia or i live in a favela in brazil whatever mental disease you choose <laughs> uh you know but um <laughs> not quite you know, yet <laughs> um but you know they we have issues right i noticed this <clears throat> you see there's 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 three stages and i and i think the cat academy covers all these stages okay mm. stage one i'm a man i cannot get sex but i want sex okay yeah. Stage two, I am a man. I can get sex, but I cannot get long-term compliance and submission from my woman. Stage three, I can get submission and compliance from my woman, but I need help with long-term, the longevity of it. And that, when you get to that stage, having multiple women, knowing how to cultivate multiple relationships with multiple women and sustaining it while keeping your boundaries and your mental health in line, then we're talking about mastery, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the elite level really, or not elite level, but that is, that is like top level stuff. And a lot of guys, yeah, you know, they're, they're struggling with the lower level stuff. But when you, when you, like you say, when you do get some proficiency with this, when you do start to get an abundant sex life, abundant dating life, the other stuff really comes into play. And everybody that I've ever met who has, either done this professionally or, you know, they're just somebody who's just got a very abundant dating life. They all suffer with these same issues, you know, and um, it's just how it goes, man. But we've just got to all learn how to, how to, how to get through and not just cope with these things, but thrive as well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it's very difficult out there and it's very difficult because I was talking to Tusk about this yesterday and it's kind of like you think before, when you go into this, that, you just if you if you meet if you're able to meet and attract these beautiful girls then that's sort of going to solve your problem and then it's good, everything else is going to be plain sailing and of course when you get to that summit you realize that actually that's not the case at all it's great you can meet some cute girls and things but you've still got all of your old problems that you had beforehand and now you've got more problems on top because relationships in themselves you know bring challenges with them right right um i i you know what i personally think man I think that like the the biggest problem. I think one of the worst places to be is a guy who can get sex, but he can't hold frame and he can't mm. uh, maintain a relationship. Because what what we you know like what's a perfect example of that, right? The blue pill alpha, the yeah. the college jock, the fucking the, the the basketball superstar, the whatever, right? He's he's alpha. He does everything day to day. I'm the man. I got fans. I got money. I got bitches. But he gets locked down with a seven out of ten <clears throat> who within five years has him folding laundries and changing nappies yeah. and uh, getting, you know, starfish sex once a month. And he's just like, oh, I just got to got to do my course. I got to run my course as a man. got to do my duty. Happy wife, happy life. Like that's slavery. I, th I think mm. the, I think the thing that you that brings me and you together, Troy, is like we both strongly desire to be free. I think we're mm. very hard. I mean, you name your you're the name of your dating courses or your dating books is it says it all right. Renegade yeah. dating blueprint, right? Just like yes. a renegade. I, I'm against the fucking flow. Yeah. And um, yeah, you know, the average man goes bald. You get handsome as you get fucking get older. I hate that. You know, you're fucking big, <laughs> luscious head of hair. Yeah, you're doing everything opposite of the mainstream. It's working well. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. But no, you're right. I think that uh, that desire for freedom is very strong in in myself. Obviously, it is in you. It is in other people that I know in this industry as well. And yeah. you know, it's it's like why wouldn't you want that really? Because you're exactly. We are not really our programming as a guy is not to be domestic. Really, yeah. that's not to say you can't have a long term relationship. That's not to say you can't have kids and family. 
all of that stuff's fine. But it's like the way in which you do it. And we're not really, there's too many guys, especially on Twitter and stuff. And it's like, yeah, man, just get shacked up when you're 25 and have 17 kids and stuff. And it's, it, it's like that shouldn't be really the way around that you do it. You know, your personal freedom should remain the first thing. And then perhaps around that, you build a family or whatever in a, in a slightly different way. But you don't want to get boxed in. And too many guys just end up getting boxed in too early. Oh, it's, dude, it's, it's like, I can't, I can't live if I'm boxed in. Yeah. You know, yeah. like uh, one of the girls I was dating, um, as I became more successful, right? You know the story behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, I'm so rich. I actually have, I actually have one whole Bitcoin right here. This wow. is how rich I am. This is a whole Bitcoin. Actually, I try not to there show off, go. but I, I actually have two Bitcoins. Um, this is how rich I am, actually. So I have two Bitcoin and um, <laughs> I'm a fucking maniac. Great to be back on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but as I got more successful, right, um, she, her levels of anxiety uh, escalated. And yeah. one thing now, you know, it doesn't help that I'm always like wearing like Louis Vuitton and being an arrogant, not arrogant, but, you know, I just like to dress well. The, the, we talk about fashion in, in the Cat Academy and, you know, mm. with fashion, right, like looking good is, is the is the pinnacle. But when you look good and then you have a designer brand on, then it's like, oh, OK, like yeah. this guy is is like he's what I really want. Um, but I noticed like when you get to this kind of level, girls try to put their 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 meat hooks in you. They try to put their claws in you a lot more aggressively and they try to control you and that i mm. really don't like it when a girl tries to control me it makes i don't care how sexy she is i don't care how perfect she is the moment a girl starts to try to control me i'm like oh just i can't I, I can't do it yeah 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 exactly and like you say and then it's ironic because they will try to come in and you know exert that control and they'll do that at the expense of what you're doing the expense of your business you know they'll be like oh i don't want you working so long hours or i you know i don't like you doing this or i don't like you doing that and they yeah. will almost try to kill the golden goose you know the thing that made you that gave you that success they'll try and almost strangle that i don't know why yeah. they do it i think it's i don't think it's intentional i think it's subconscious i think they want to try to pull you down a bit so that you just get less attention from other women yeah i i definitely think so um that happened with me um the one of the one of the girls I was seeing, the success was too much for her, and she like on a very small <laughs> level was trying to start sabotaging mm. me, because for her, if I, if I make a million dollars a year, and she sabotages me down to three hundred thousand dollars a year, still good enough for her because she has three hundred thousand dollars a year, and me, yeah, you know what I mean, but um, you know, hey, it's yeah. it's not happening. You're not. The only thing that shall tame Troy and I is our favorite subject to talk about, death. That will be the only <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> right. Let's bring it down to that. Right here we go. This is <laughs> now we're on to the real, the real show. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, man! What I've been shooting those lunatic. short form videos recently. I don't know if you've seen any, but I've been doing these shorter form, like uh, you know pre-scripted like monologues where I'm talking to camera and I've been shooting them when we were traveling around in different hotel rooms and it's just me sitting in these darkened hotel rooms like really depressed like <laughs> kind, of, kind of just talking about death to the camera for 10 minutes. Premium content. Absolutely Premium man. Content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to open my OnlyFans. You're going to get even more even oh, more death content for just a small pre monthly premium. You have the death tier on your Patreon. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so speaking of tiers, right? Um, the the Cat Academy, actually, you offer three tiers now. It used to be one program, yes. right? Now there's multiple tiers. Can you explain the tiers for the guys and, and kind of let them know what, what the benefits they'll get in each tier? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, first thing is, I mean, I can actually share the screen. I could just show you the curriculum very quickly. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Whatever um, you gotta do, man. Just to give people an idea about what is in this because basically what the what happens is that the um hang on a second. the first tier is just the digital course and then the tiers as you move up you get more more benefits so if i just share that a second has that gone up <clears throat> here, here we go sorry just uh yeah yeah cool cool rusty so that, here no worries. So that's inside the course itself. So just to give you an idea of what's in it 
regardless. Basically, mm -hmm. you've got the intro, then you've got um, these sections. So you've got dating dynamics, the global dating scene. We talk all about what's currently happening out there on the ground. Obviously, that's informed by I've been doing a lot of traveling this year. So we've got a lot of new insights to talk about there, but really looking at, you know, what the current situation is, opportunities, red flags, um, and so on and so forth. Then we talk about charisma. So obviously, it's called Charisma and Dating Academy. A big section of this is, okay, so how do you develop that charisma that will stand you in good stead? Particularly if you're living a more nomadic lifestyle, if you're traveling around a bit, you're going to new places, you've got to bring out your A game, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is that X factor that kind of separates the people who maybe they know a little bit about game, they know what to do, but they're not bringing anything. They're not bringing that edge with it, right? And you've got to have that right. edge. Okay. Yeah, you can't just be a, like a, a red pill masturbator, right? You can't just yeah. be like a guy who who knows all the theory, because that that's kind of like what the black pill guys become, right? They become mm. like these theory guys. They know all the theory. They know how to attract women <clears throat> in theory, but they don't do the work. And then they just like you know they're like they're like the professional guys who are like fat, but they're like UFC commentators. Like they they know all the moves, they know all the positions and all that stuff, but they can't fight because they're just, you know, they're not actually doing the work. Well, it's kind of ironic, actually, because some of those black pill guys, you know, they a lot of them are quite young and they'll say things like, yeah, man, you know, these boomers don't know what it's like in, on the dating market now. And, you know, we know the real deal. But the reality is a lot of them are just sitting in their bedroom looking at Tinder surveys, yeah. you know, and that's their yeah. data. Whereas actually we are at, at, at you, you, you as well and myself and, and Tuscan people, we are actually out actually dating these women and working with clients who are dating these women so we know exactly what's going on on the current scene in a way that they a lot of other people don't um but anyway then the next section is called the dark side how to be the bad boy and this goes more into the dark triad stuff because as i say you've got to have a bit of an edge to you you don't want to just be a beige vanilla kind of forgettable guy you've got to bring something else to the party and as we all know Nice guys finish last. Women love jerks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's a whole breakdown in this in this section about what exactly dark triad is, how you can embody some of those characteristics without a dark triad. For people who don't know, is psychopathy, Machiavellianism, narcissism, and sometimes people lump in sadism as well. That's a kind of a fourth one. It's how can you embody some of those traits or turn up the dial on some of those traits, but without losing your soul in the process? Because nobody's talking about, right, you've got to become Patrick Bateman or, or anything like that. Obviously, you're still a decent guy fundamentally, but you've got to turn up the dial on that edginess a little bit. So that's what yeah. we teach here. Yeah. Then we go into what I call radical differentiation. And this basically is standing out from the crowd. A big part of this is fashion. It's not a whole fashion module, but a, an element of this is fashion. Because again, how are you presenting yourself? You know, when you walk into the bar, when you walk into the lounge, do you stand out? Are you standing out in the right way? Do you look right. cool? You know, do you have that edge? So you go through all of that. Um, and then we go into attraction dating techniques, which is basically the game section. And then we got various bits of additional material. So we've got a couple, uh, we've got, Approach I Like Chad, my book, How to Be an Arsehole, and Text Game Mastery as well. You also get access to a, a, an additional product with some of my infields in it. So you can see this stuff in, um, in action, if you like. So basically, that's the digital course. Now, there are three tiers. This this looks crazy, though. This looks like at least two hours of material. How many, how many hours of material? No, man, it's longer. It's even longer than that. I'm afraid Good to Lord. say... I'm afraid to say there's nearly 10 hours worth of material here. It's really Fucking long. Christ, 10 hours? Yeah, it's 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 a real, real deep dive. Yeah, that's uh, good. Into no, I mean, stuff. So that, and by the way, no, thank you. And by the way, just to say the game section in itself is, this is an A to Z really from, okay, so, you know, what needs to be in your conversations? What do you say? How do you structure a conversation? How do you get rid of approach anxiety? How do you transition from saying, hi, you're cute, to moving it into a conversation? How do you raise the temperature, flirtation, et cetera, et cetera, all the way through? Wow. Um, so it is very deep. It's very in-depth. Um, it's very comprehensive. And um, there are three tiers on which you can join. So the first tier is for £197. You can just get the digital course itself. So if you just want the video course, um, and that's it. And that's for people who are on a budget, then um, you can do that. But and what I would recommend that people do is you go for tier two, which for £497, you get to come into the Zoom webinars. So I'm going to be doing 10 Zoom webinars 
shortly after we close uh, on the enrollment period, we're going to be doing 10 live webinars Amazing. where I'm get Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to be going through all of the material in detail on Zoom, on Zoom, obviously in a private group. So you can ask anything you want. You can share, you know, particular challenges and issues that you're having. We can talk about it, give you like face to, you know, face to face over Zoom advice, et cetera, et cetera. Those will obviously be private groups. So we can be a lot more candid in terms of what we talk about. That's the real win for this, really. As you know, because obviously this is something that you, you've you pioneered, really, in this space, doing Zoom calls as part of the course. And I think that form of tuition is just, just adds so much depth to this experience, right? Yeah, I I, um, I think the webinars in itself are very revolutionary, uh, yes. revolutionary in the sense because it's, it's, it's interactive, real training. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, again, I've got to thank you. I've got to pay tribute to you for this because you were really the one who, uh, you know, sort of introduced this into this space, if you like, with body language mastery. But it is such a good model. And for a course like this, yeah, you can just watch the videos. But to really bring it to life, coming into the uh, coming on board with the Zoom webinars on tier two is really the way you want to go, because that will we're able to flesh it out so much more and we're able to really apply it to your own particular situation on top of that i'll likely be we'll be talking about some other things as well that aren't in the course we'll do a, a session on fashion hopefully bring some other guys in maybe john if you're around or you know but of course we'll bring, you know it i'll absolutely. do anything for you thanks man i really appreciate it you know we'll bring some other guys in to, who can talk to the group and um give you their perspective so we've had sterling cooper in before talking about sex we've had um <laughs> i've been actually oh. growing my dick lately on my off time have you uh, are you using uh, his um his technique his his technique in the bath in the meat yeah and is it working it is surprise i i'm actually documenting it with photos i could send it to you after <laughs> well thank you I, I look forward to that i look forward to that but um yeah so um so yeah, you know, we'll get, we've had Ryan Stone in, we've had Rollo in before. So you know, we'll, we'll get some special guests in to talk about just slightly different aspects of the game from their point of view. Um, and then finally, there's tier three, which you get all of that. So you get the digital course, plus you get the Zoom webinars. But yes. also on top of that, you get two months worth of uh, Zoom, of mentoring via WhatsApp by me as well. So that is one on one. We'll have our own WhatsApp group. We'll do two calls per month, two 30-minute calls per month. And then I'm available on WhatsApp, you know, not 24-7, obviously, because I do need to sleep a little bit. But, you know, within reason, I'll be there on the end of WhatsApp with just a group with you. So anything that's happening in your dating life, you can run it by me, text conversations, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll just be there as your virtual wingman for a two-month period. The cost for that is 1091 So really when you think about it given that if we're running a boot camp event you're talking about spending about 3k you know to come along for five days this is a very cost efficient way to get some you know some actual coaching with me uh, as well as all of the stuff that's in the digital course and as i say digital course 10 hours worth deep dive there's a hell of a lot of material in here there really is it's amazing dude super super amazing um so the tiers are 197 yes and then the middle one was what? Uh, 497. 197, 497, and then 1097. Uh, yes. 1097, which is the webinars. Yeah. What? No. Uh, so 497 is the webinars with the webinars. And then. Too cheap. Too cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I object. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then, the th and then the final tier is 1091. And that is with the WhatsApp training as well. Uh, with direct text access to you. Yes. Yes. And that's that's valuable even for me because you know we talked about man I mean we try to talk about everything um mm. but there's a time when we were both kind of like separating ourselves from attachment shall I say yeah and um it was interesting that we were both going through that at the same time like literally at the same time well yeah man I mean it's difficult I mean I'm still in the after effects of that really I mean I'm kind of I'm a you know I'm okay you get on with stuff don't yeah. you and you you know, but uh, it's it's a difficult. Bone saw can help you just chop it up and get rid of the body. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys, though, actually, I'm sure you get the same thing. But a lot of guys will come forward for coaching calls and things like that, and they want to talk about exactly this issue because it's so difficult for so many guys. You know, breaking up, moving on, 
yeah relationship for the fallout from relationships you know it's uh it's it's tough stuff to deal with man mentally and you've got to be in a good mental place or oh yeah you know or you need some help with it maybe if you're if you just come off the back of a particularly tricky escapade you know no the, the you know and one thing i've noticed lately is when with a lot of my coaching clients um well, a lot of guys they they need breakup support yeah men need breakup support yeah um because yeah. you know women when they break up what do they do they go to all their girlfriends and it's it's hilarious how women break up because women go to all their girlfriends and all their girlfriends just give them awful advice and then the woman ruins <laughs> themselves even more right yeah 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 um if you're a man and you're lucky enough to have strong intelligent men around you they give you good advice they say hey you know what bro you know if you're breaking up um go, stay busy go to the gym call me we can talk about it we can come up with logical conclusions right when in doubt make money make muscles that's all i always say right if you're going yeah. through a breakup hey study some cryptocurrency make a little money you know um if you can make a quick ten thousand dollars in two months doing a couple crypto trades and you're going through a breakup you know you will get over that breakup and then you'll be like oh fuck, and i have this ten thousand dollars on top of it yeah. you know so it's yeah. it's good things but i think i think that's why more men um you know themselves is because um they don't have support and they, they yeah. bottle all up the emotions inside and then they you know they, they they get upset and they kill themselves over the the dumbest thing they kill themselves over a girl yeah that's so dumb like you shouldn't nobody should kill <clears throat> themselves and, and you should definitely not kill yourself over a girl if you're a man that's like dumb you're better off like dying for a cause than you are fucking mm. some some fucking slut you matched with on tinder you know, or, or so romantic. Yeah, you know, right? I matched with her on Bumble. She broke my heart, and I fucking drank cyanide, and now I'm in hell. Yeah, you know? yeah. But men need but, breakup support, and so that's something Troy also can offer in these WhatsApp coaching. Yes, and the, it's it's the community. The most important thing is the community of men, because look, I'll tell you guys this personally right now the reason I, i'm taking some time off of youtube i'm doing a lot of hypnotherapy i'm reflecting on my coaching style i'm reflecting on my business i am i don't i'm not like depressed or i want to kill myself or anything like that but i'm working through my issues as in we all have issues and as men we all need to face our demons we need to realize hey i maybe i have some mental problems hey you know what? maybe i eat too much food or maybe i drink too much alcohol maybe i smoke too much marijuana maybe i i have sex with too many girls and you're using it to avoid <clears throat> you you're trying to run away from your mental problems so i decided to stop and i said look i have some things in my mind that i need to clean and i need mm. to clear out and i know I'm I'm like, you know, it's weird to even say this, but I'm like a lot of guys' inspiration. I'm the hero for a lot of these guys. They look up to me, they say, MLD, he's got money, he's got muscles, he's a good, he's got game, he's got women, he's got a cute dog, he's got a baller apartment. You know, he's teaching guys how to make millions of dollars of crypto, right? But even me, as a guy who's like made it, right? I'm still taking time to work through my issues and work through my problems because that's that's life. As a man, you have to work through your problems. That yeah. being said. If you're at home watching and you think you're going to do it on your own, you're not. Yeah. And that and that's just not me telling you so you can sign up for Troy's course. Quite frankly, I don't give a fuck if you sign up or not if you're that kind of person. Because if you think that you're going to do it on your own, one, you're definitely going to fail. And two, when you do come to the realization, if you are lucky to come to it, you're going to have a lot more shit to fix than if you just jump in now, join a community, men, and work on the big four, the core four, guys. Make money make muscles, learn game, hold frame. The core four gets you through the door, baby. And that's the door of life. And that's what yes. we're offering here. You know, yeah. that's what Troy's offering. And you're not going to be able to do it on your own. Troy calls me for help. I call Troy for help. I call, I talk to Album American for help. I talk to Paul from Apex Mindset. I talk to Red Pill Thor. I talk to Wraith. I talk to King Dre. I talk to Afi Kingdom. I, I, I'm the number one fucking student of the manosphere, <laughs> if anything. And I'm, yeah. I'm like, a, I'm a leader. So yeah, if you're yeah. at home and you think that you're going to figure this out on your own, you're not. I assure you, because I'm at a higher level than you, keeping it logical, not trying to be arrogant. And I need a lot of help. So you definitely yeah. need a lot of help. And that's what Troy is offering right now with the CAD Academy. When does registration close, Troy? Um, it closes on Friday or Saturday morning at midnight, EST. So Saturday we've got a morning couple of at midnight. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
So, so Saturday night, midnight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's the, what is that? The 12th, the 13th? Uh, it is 13th. the 13th, November 13th, yes. at midnight, exactly. November 13th, exactly. midnight guys. Mm. So, uh, that's what Troy's offering with the cat Academy. Get in. I'm telling you guys, look, I will tell you this. I have achieved the pinnacles of success to the extent that I could take two months off of YouTube and still have enough money to have Bitcoin laying around. That's how rich I am, okay? <laughs> just chucks around casually. Just laying on my desk. And I'll say this. <clears throat> the thing is this. It all started with me sitting on the other side of the screen like you are at home and making a dedicated decision to figure out the, the, the bitches situation in your life. Once you figure that shit out, then naturally you will want to evolve to the next level, which is getting freedom of your finances, getting freedom of your lifestyle. Because once you get freedom in one area of your life, sexually, you can fuck a bunch of girls. Let me tell you something. I've had sex with a lot of girls and it's fucking awesome. It is mm. great, okay? Because then you get to get more girls, you get to get higher quality women, if like some of your women are like behaving bad, you'd know, like, even if you lose her, you can replace her. Right. Because like, think about it, right. For your guy like us, like what does a girl really bring to the table? Right. She's good looking and she cooks and she cleans. Right. What do we bring to the table? One, we're a strong masculine man, which is rare in itself. Two, we're independently employed. Three, some would call us rich or whatever. And four, we're leaders of men. And five, we like know how to make a woman feel safe by uh, knowing how to hold frame and, and maintain a healthy relationship for her to live in, right? Women won't just be in this kind of relationship atmosphere. So by, eight be by being able to um, fix that part of your life, it will open the doors to other levels of success. And this is why we talk about facing your demons. A lot of you guys... You know you want to get your women's situation sorted out. You know that you have a lot of demons of you see a girl across the street, you see her in the bar, you want to approach her, and then you don't, and then you feel like a bitch, you feel like yeah. a pussy, and you're like, fuck, I'm just such a loser. And you go home, you cry about it, you fucking jerk off, you know, you, 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 and, and you, and all you're doing is you're just delaying your growth as a man. But once you run towards the direction of adversity and you face your demons, you got to pick up your sword, you got to pick up your shield. You got to go into the fucking dragon's lair and kill that motherfucker. And that how that's how you level up. That's how I've leveled up. If you think I'm your hero, I mean, bro, I'm living the fucking dream. My life is awesome. Okay. But it all started with me facing my demons. And if your demon is your inability to have a sexual relationship with a woman or multiple women, that will always be your demon and that will always be holding you back. That's just the truth mm. about life. Yeah, it's like the first level of the elevator, isn't it? Unfortunately, because we are so driven by it as guys and women are as well to some extent. But as guys, we certainly are, are driven by it. It's like if that element of your life isn't sorted out, it takes precedence over everything else. And then you end up just being on a YouTube channel complaining about women the whole time or writing in people's comment sections and stuff. And, you know, right. like all of that time, if you'd sorted out your dating problem, then you could have used all that time much more productively, right? Right. In, you know, learning crypto, making some money, starting a business, what you know, blah, 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 all these different things. But you if you don't get the sex side of things sorted out, then you are gonna be that's always gonna be in the back of your mind. Right. So that's always gonna be holding you back. We that's and we're 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 living proof of it, man. I mean, you know, I'm literally I'm literally head to toe in Louis Vuitton. That's how bored I am these days. Like, I'm just, <laughs> got the new, got the collection hoodie, got the collection sweat below. I got the the cap, you know, the, they call me, you know, you know, what? you ever, you ever like, you ever shop at Louis Vuitton, like, um, and, or you, you've, you've gone to designer shops, right? Isn't it so great? They're like, well, we're going to wrap up your stuff. Uh, would you like sparkling water? I'm like, yes, I would. Chop, chop, mm, mm. chop, chop, Mr. Kobayashi. This foreigner <laughs> needs, uh, needs some sparkling water. Don't bring me none of that peasant shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it all started with me trying to fuck girls and learning from people online, you know? Yeah, it's um, crazy, isn't it, really? But yeah, the service yeah. definitely gets better as you go up the line, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. You know, we got great guys like Fresh and Fit. Shout out to them. Looks like they are in the chat. What's up to, I think that must be Myron. Good to see um, you, man. And that's, that's another guy that started in Body Language Mastery. He partnered up with Troy as well. He learned from Troy as well. 
And now he has literally on the planet one of the top 10 most super chatted YouTube channels on the planet. And it started with him watching me and then learning from Troy and then getting his women thing figured out. And then he said, you know what? I think I can make money online. And then he said, you know what? I could think I could, I could do a podcast. And now he's, he's fucking, he's, he's fucking famous. And it all started with him watching a little channel like this, taking a step of action. Boom. Almost a household name. Getting to getting to the point that he's going to be a household name soon. So mm. can happen, guys. We're not promising you to be like fresh and fit or shit, but you don't you don't have to go be like him either. Like you could live a quiet life of happiness. Like, you know, I know some guy, he just makes makes like $140,000 a year. He invests in crypto on the side, lives in Texas, has has a couple girls, and he's he's happy. He's living in the shadow, yeah. you know, and that's that's good. <laughs> Exactly. You could be low key about this stuff. You don't have to become like a multi, you know, fame worldwide celebrity. But at the same time, you know, anything's possible, right? But you've got to get these fundamentals sorted out first, because otherwise you're just going to get stuck in the, you know, at the beginning of the race. Right. Absolutely. So that's what we got. Uh, do you want to say anything, buddy? You want to say anything else? I think that summarized it really well, man, to be honest. I mean, thanks for having me on. It's great to you know, to catch up with you. We haven't done a show for a little while, so it's really good to be on here. I mean, listen, I've put my heart and soul into this course. I've been doing this stuff for so many years now. I've been really in this field for, for two decades in total. Teaching it, as I say, about seven or eight years. Uh, obviously, I've written a bunch of books about this. I've created all this different content. Also, I've been traveling the world. I've been traveling a lot more in the last year or so, and all of those insights go into this product. But the whole point about this product is it is replicating the transformation that I went through because I was, you know, a complete loser. I know your story is a bit different. I had a, a traumatic background, family background like you did. I was very shy, very introverted. My dating life was non-existent. You know, when I was 18, 19, 20, dating life was non-existent. I then made some changes in my life and I went through a transformation. And I went through the transformation in a fairly unhealthy way, really, if I'm being honest. I started partying a lot. I started using crazy, you know, substances, things like that. Wouldn't recommend anybody to do that. But what it did do for me was it created a change of attitude. I started acting differently. And then women and other people started to react differently to me. And from that, I was able to observe that process and then sort of reverse engineer it back. And so I've put all of that stuff into this course to create that transformation for you in dating that I went through, but without having to go through all the years and all of the nonsense that I did in order to get there. Um, it we it all starts with really because the bottom line is this: it it starts when you are able to satiate your sexual desires because that frees mm. up a lot of mental real estate, and then all that you know real estate that have you've been like you know spinning the wheel trying to like how can I get pussy? Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do that? Once you figure it out, you're like oh shit like. 75% of my brain space just filled up. Yeah, right? yeah. Now because I can it's fucking a, study crypto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it's amazing how much mental real estate it takes up, especially for younger guys. I mean, for all guys, really, but it's particularly for younger guys. You know, you're young, you're filled with testosterone. You really, really just want to get this part of your life handled. And you, you can't. You can't see a way out. That is just going to just completely monopolize your mind. And that mental firmware could be used doing something to be honest far more useful than obsessing about girls and dating yes. and all that stuff. dude obsessing about women and pussy is not not valuable dude these girls give their pussy away so easy <clears throat> it, they have these girls don't respect themselves and now it now to find a girl who is like i respect myself i'm not gonna go like fuck a bunch of guys that's super rare and mm. You guys think that all these girls are like pure angels. Dude, they are not. They are not whatsoever. So stop pedestalizing them. Stop making women like this holy, unachievable grail that is just so hard to get. You know, some of oh, I just if I could just get some little bit of pussy, just get a little bit of pussy, I'll be so perfect. My life will be great. No, it's not. You'll understand how to take pussy off the pedestal. And then when you actually meet a woman that is high quality, a woman that loves you, a woman that respects you, a woman that takes care of you, a woman that doesn't go give her body easy to a bunch of strangers having sex on dating apps and 
you know, all that, like, you know, just slut behavior. Um, when you find a good woman like that, you want to realize like, shit, I'm going to keep this girl forever, you know? And, and women like that, they do exist, but they're fucking rare. They're hard to find. And they are a nice commodity to keep around though. Um, because at the end of the day, a lot of these girls that you're going to match with and fuck with casually, a lot of these bitches have a lot of fucking mental issues too, man. And you're, you'll, you'll learn a darker side of the game too, but you know, it's all, it's all connected to sorting out your dating life right now. And that's what cat Academy can do. Link is in the description box. Link is in the chat. And, uh, one more thing. I'll just say this real quick. I'm going to be back in December, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a, a, a clips channel, okay? And it's actually been booming. We're putting out a new clip every day. So I'm going to put the link in the chat right there for you to subscribe to the clips channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can see um, all of the videos here. It is We're just getting it going. Um, the, the clips are really fire. It's really good. We're putting out one new clip a day, and it'll give you your little breadcrumbs. Um, mm -hmm. when you watch the, um, when you watch the clip, right, you just go here, this, you watch the full clip here, and then you can see the full video link right here. So everything you need to reeducate yourself, keep yourself sharp, stay focused on what you need in life. And you can be able to watch that until I come back. I'll be back on December 1st, took, in, took November, October off just to travel to, to, you know, to work on myself, you know, clean up my house a little bit, do some, uh, I got laser treatment on my face today. You could probably see I'm all fucking greasy. So I'm taking care of myself. I'll be back in December. Hot dude con is going down December and January. We're going to go to San Diego, Texas, um, Miami and, um, more to be declared, but definitely San Diego, definitely, uh, most likely Dallas or Austin. And then uh, definitely Miami. And we're going to meet up. We actually have proper meetup. We're going to have an area. You can come meet us. You can come hang out with us. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be super, super, super awesome. In the meantime, Cat Academy. Links in the chat. Links in the bio. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace out.